Hi, I'm Laura and I'm a Strength and Balance Surf Instructor for Age UK Bolton. Okay, so now we've come to the end of your workout and we always need to finish off our exercise with some stretches uh, just to make sure we're not really achy the next morning and we get those muscles back to how they were with pre-exercise. So the first one I'm going to do is for your calf muscles. Again, we can use chair for support if you need be. Big hip distance apart, lifting up tall through the centre. You're going to step one foot back, press the back heel into the floor, bend in the front knee. Toes are pointing forward and parallel. And you should feel a stretch into the bottom of your calf. Again, if you can't, you can make that stance a little bit wider. And we're holding each stretch between 10 and 30 seconds. So releasing that stretch. Over to the opposite side, pressing the back heel into the floor. Same thing again, we're going to hold that stretch between 10 and 30 seconds. Slowly easing yourself out of that stretch. Give the legs a bit of a shake. We're going to take it into the upper body now. So we're going to bring the arm forward, level with the shoulder, cross it over the line of the body, and with the other hand, you're going to hold on either above or below the joint. So we're trying to avoid holding around the elbow. So just relax into that stretch as much as you can. And release. Repeating on the opposite side, bringing the arm forward, cross the line of the body and holding on with the other hand. Making sure that working shoulders drop down and keeping the chest lifted. Feeling that stretch into the shoulder. And relax the arms. Tricep stretch next. Hand to the shoulder. So right hand to the shoulder. With the other hand, you're going to lift up from underneath the elbow, creeping the hand back. Adding a slight bit of pressure to the other arm, making sure you're not dropping the chin and you're lifting out of the hips. And release. Opposite side, hand to the shoulder, lift up from underneath, creep the fingertips back, keep the chest high, chin pointing forward. The next couple of stretches I'm going to take seated, you can still keep them standing if you want to. So if you grab your chair, get yourself comfortable so the feet are hip distance apart. The first one is for the top of the back, so we're going to stack the hands on top of each other, push the arms away, drop the chin down towards the chest. Think about making a C-shape with the spine, so as if you're holding a giant Easter egg. Separating the shoulder blades. And again, trying to relax into that stretch. From there, we're going to take it into a stretch for the chest, pushing the arms back. And again, you can use your chair if you want to, placing the hands onto the side of the chair, lift the chest up, squeeze the shoulder blades together. And release. Good, relax into that stretch. Okay, so the next uh, stretch we're going to do is a hamstring stretch. So for the back of the leg, two hands placed onto the bent knee. We're going to extend the other leg forward, aiming to get the toe up towards the ceiling. Lift out of the hips, hinge forward from the hips, and you should feel the stretch into the back of the leg. And again, just try and relax into that stretch as much as you can. release. Changing the legs over, toe up towards the ceiling, hand onto the bent knee, lift up nice and tall, hinge forward from the hips. And rest. Good, just give the arms and legs a bit of a shake. We've now completed all the exercises and I hope you've enjoyed everything and you've got a good full body workout. I've been Niall and I've been Laura 
Thanks for joining us today. And I hope you enjoyed the workout.